Until we inevitably transition to fully electric cars, all of your favorite models will either be discontinued or get a plug-in hybrid modification, which is one of the best ways to tame a gas-guzzling internal combustion machine. We have already covered new PHEV cars of 2022, and today shall tackle the upcoming SUVs from this class. You'll be able to learn about the expected price tags, EV ranges and technological packages. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy this informative ride. Kia Sportage PHEV The fifth-generation Sportage draws a clear line between itself and the predecessor. Both the global and European versions, which is a bit shorter, share the same striking front end with the brand's modernized tiger nose grille, sharply curved daytime running lights and angular side skirts. For the first time, the Eurobound Sportage will also have an option of a contrasting black roof. Depending on the trim hierarchy, buyers will choose between 17, 18 or 19-inch wheels, while the upper-scale goodies like matrix LED lights, a 360-degree camera and remote park assist will be offered as options. The plug-in versions rely on a 1.6-liter turbocharged four-cylinder wired to a 90-horsepower e-motor. All-in, it produces 265 ponies, 280 pound-feet of torque and offers around 30 miles of electric driving. The interior features a duo of 12.3-inch screens for the infotainment and for the driver's display. Lexus NX 450H Plus The fully redesigned exterior of the Lexus NX is not its only advantage in 2022. This all-new compact crossover is the first car from the Japanese brand to be offered as a plug-in hybrid, and it will sit at the top of the future model lineup. With the standard all-wheel drive, the 450H Plus powertrain consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and yet-to-be-unveiled hybrid components. Combined, they will output 302 HP. Lexus also claims that the NX battery is more efficient than rivals, promising up to 36 miles of purely electric trip. Another huge upgrade is the new infotainment system, which not only becomes driver-friendly, but also runs almost four times faster. As standards, every plug-in NX will come with a 9.8-inch touchscreen that can be upgraded to the optional 14-inch display, unlocking extra virtual assistant capabilities. Mazda MX-30 PHEV Mazda's first steps on the electrification path will be associated with the subcompact crossover that shares underpinnings with the Mazda 3 and CX-30. This model initially came out in a purely electric form with a humble 144HP motor and just 100 miles of range. For anyone willing to veer off the path of the regular daily commute, these figures are quite underwhelming, so Mazda is planning a so-called series plug-in hybrid version of the MX-30. Unlike in the usual PHEV setups, the IC units will not be connected to the wheels. Instead, the Japanese will bring back their legendary Wankele rotary engine that will serve as a generator. We can assume that the model may keep its 35.5 kWh battery and 100 miles CV range reserve, thus becoming one of the longest travel hybrids in the business. Hyundai Tucson PHEV for the 2022 model year, the plug-in version of the new generation Tucson will be reaching the US shores. It will be offered in two upper-level trims, SCL and Limited, both with a new Tucson front end with integrated DRLs, dual-like surface detailing and rectangular wheel arches. From the non-hybrid models, it is mostly distinguished by PHV batching and a charging port. The drivetrain system is built around a 1.6-liter turbo engine that is aided by a single motor and a 13.8 kWh battery. The only transmission option is a 6-speed automatic that sends 265 HP and 258 pound-feet to all four wheels. As standard, the crossover boasts plenty of standard driver assists, heated and power-adjustable front seats, and an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment. In the limited trim, you get a larger 10.25-inch display with navigation, a remote smart parking, and heated rear seats and steering wheel. Smash the like button to support electrification of the automotive world and stay till the end to learn all of the plugged-in news. Let's proceed! Jeep Grand Cherokee 4XE 
As a part of the Stellantis electrification program for the cheap brands, each model shall receive a 4XC electrified modification by the year 2025. The second SUV to obtain a plug after the Wrangler 4XC is the newly refreshed mid-size Grand Cherokee and the standard 5-seater configuration, though the three-row Grand Cherokee L is likely to get electrified as well. If no modifications are done to the powertrain, this BHV will make 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The electric range from the 17.3 kWh battery is around 20 miles, while the MPG rating should reach 40 plus miles. The renewed Legend is likely to offer three available 4x4 systems, competitive towing capacity, premium LED lighting, 16-way adjustable front seats, you connect 5 with the available 10.1-inch touchscreen, head-up display, and a new available Macintosh MX950 entertainment system. Opel Grandland PHEV Apart from getting a name upgrade, the facelifted Grandland gains the corporate visor front fascia and a modernized interior. The model boasts a closed black grill and standard LED headlights that can be upgraded to the new IntelliLux Pixel units with 84 LEDs each. The powertrain lineup now offers two plug-in options with front-wheel drive or electric all-wheel drive. Both are powered by a 1.6-liter turbo engine and a 13.2 kWh battery that feeds an unspecified number of motors. Judging from the output of the previous Grandland X Hybrid 4, the flagship should offer at least 300 horses. The interior of the model undergoes a noticeable overhaul with a new pure panel dashboard that consists of a 12-inch driver's cluster plus a 10-inch infotainment. The system has built-in navigation and supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Kia Sorento PHEV In addition to pure ice and hybrid versions, the fourth-generation Sorento introduces a new plug-in modification built around a 1.6-liter turbo engine and a single electric motor with 89 horses. Together, they produce a combined output of 261 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, while the onboard 13.8 kWh battery is good enough for 31 electric miles. The SUV is also rated for 79 mpg and 460 miles on a single trip. The exterior distinctions between the regular and plug-in Sorrentos are minimal. It gets specific 19-inch wheels, special batching, and a plug-in port at the rear panel. Also standard are full LED lights, second-row captain's chairs, synthetic or real leather upholstery, and a 10.25-inch infotainment tweaked to display EV functions. The Sorento PHEV is already on sale at home and across Europe, while its North American market debut is scheduled for late 2021. It will be offered in two trims, SX and SXP. MG EHS Plug-in Hybrid Launched in 2020, this year, the plug-in hybrid version of the EHS crossover is making its way across the UK and Europe. The model gets attractive exterior design with the MG's prominent dotted grille and offers standard LED DRLs and available LED headlights. The power comes from a 1.5-liter turbo gasoline engine supported by an electric motor and a 16.6 kWh battery. The latter promises around 28 EPA miles. In Europe, the system is restricted to 258 horses and 273 pound-feet, while in China it peaks at 291 HP and 354 pound-feet. The crossover also gets an interesting 10-speed gearbox. It consists of a 6-speed automatic for the ICE and a 4-gear electronic drive unit. The cabin of the EHS has plenty of space. It features real leather upholstery and packs a fully digital cluster and a 10.1-inch infotainment. By the way, quite possibly in 2022, this crossover will get a noticeable facelift and will change its name to MG Pilot, like it has already done in China. Land Rover Defender P400e After the initial pushback from the old-school Defender buffs, the all-new unibody version has started to steadily gain the fan base of its own. This model also becomes the first electrified and the second most powerful Land Rover Defender ever produced, yielding only to the supercharged V8 version. For now, the P400e is offered in the long wheelbase 110, 
and is powered by the same powertrain as the PHEV Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. Namely, a 300 horsepower 2 liter 4 cylinder and a 140 HP motor. The substantial 472 pound feet of torque improves towing and off roading capabilities, as well as shortens 0 to 60 acceleration to 5.6 seconds. The 19.2 kWh battery is sufficient for 23 miles of range, supports 50 kW Mode 3 rapid charging, and can be replenished in half an hour. This adventure vehicle gets 20 inch wheels standard adjustable electronic air suspension, available electronic locking differentials, and advanced tech systems. Hyundai Santa Fe PHEV Despite being barely two years old, the new generation Santa Fe received a very noticeable facelift for 2022. It made the midsize SUV look bolter, adding a wider grille, T-shaped LED DRLs, and updated rear lights. As it turns out, these updates are not the last ones in 2022, as the Santa Fe premieres its plug-in hybrid drivetrain for the first time. According to Hyundai, the massive five-seater should receive the same setup that have already been seen in the Tucson. It means a 1.6-liter GDI, 265 horses of total output, standard all-wheel drive, and a 13.8 kWh battery with enough juice for 30 miles of emission-free driving. Since the plug-in will be offered only on the upper trim models, expect a 12.3-inch digital instrumentation, 8 or 10-inch infotainment, wireless smartphone integration, as well as available sunroof and ventilated leather seats with stitching. Seat Turaco e-Hybrid Seat's largest SUV skipped miles and strong hybrid powertrains and instead went straight for the PHEV setup. The seven-seater shares internals with the Volkswagen Tiguan e-Hybrid and Skoda Kodiak iV, boasting of 30 all-electric miles and 453 miles of combined range. The Turaco gets a 13 kWh battery pack with either a 2.3 or 3.6 kW home charger. The drivetrain combines efforts of a 1.4-liter TSI engine with 150 horses, a single electric motor with 115, and a 6-speed DSG. The system nets 245 horses and can operate in three different drive modes with quick access buttons. For now, the e-hybrid Turaco is launched exclusively as a 5-seat model, and customers can choose between two trim levels, Excellence and FR. These packages bring 19-inch exclusive wheels, automatic headlights, 10.25-inch digital cockpit, 3-zone climate control, and adaptive cruise control. Now that you've seen the entire lineup, Name your favorite PHEV SUV of 2022 in the comments section. As I've already mentioned, this is the second volume about the plug-in hybrids, so follow the link on the screen to learn more about the upcoming PHEV cars. Smash the like button to support electrification and subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming electrified content. May the torque be with you!